We are currently stationed here at the University of Kalania and the atmosphere around here is feeling quite eclectic, actually burning with anticipation because we are just about to witness the commencement of Sri Lanka's first celebration of International Day of University Sports. IDES is celebrated on the 20th September since 2016. University sportsmen around the world use this special day as a platform to get together, have some fun, share knowledge and find solutions for challenges each other face. The gathering was welcomed by the President of SLUSA, Dr. Chandrakanta Mahindranathan and by a beautiful dance blending the rich colours of the Sri Lankan culture. A healthy mind in a healthy body is something all of us should live by and most importantly, the future decision makers of the country, the university students, should. Former President of SLUSA, Professor Tilak Gamage delivered the keynote speech explaining the importance of IDES to the world. FISU has taken the leadership to uh, propose International Day of University Sports to UNESCO, emphasizing its social role played by the universities. And it also allows UNESCO to uh, reaffirm its commitment to sports development through physical education for the spread of genuine sports culture, which is inherent to culture of peace. Awards were given for the winners of the sports quiz competition as well. The panel discussion was one interesting conversation between the experts and the audience. They are leaders, they are team players. You saw in the last three to four months what the world athletes were doing uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. They were training at home. You don't, actually, you don't need the uh, exact training center. You may be a athlete or you may be a marathon athlete but you can you do some exercises, you can design some exercises, you can do at home. Why don't you give a push to the UGC to get uh, to implement that, uh, that idea of having sports a week or a month in the university system as well as practice in the school system. End of the morning session, beginning of the fun session. The spectacular dance performance by the University of Kalania to welcome us to their Indo Gymnasium reminded everybody of their back-to-back -back championships retained for years during the past inter-university games. Good communication, leadership skills and team spirit are the basic fundamental facts that are required to build a strong sportsman. We as university undergraduate sportsmen and sportswomen almost always engage in team activities in our respective universities. Today at University of Kalania, we have all gathered here representing our own universities to celebrate the IDES as one community. We also got the chance to speak with some of the dignitaries present at the day. What do you think that the state universities should do in Sri Lanka to uplift Sri Lankan sport as a whole? Well, I have seen and the students are very, very enthusiastic in showing their colours, particularly in the sports. The system, of course, have to be still uh, improved to get most of the students, not a certain group of the students, almost all the students to get engaged with the sports. As in school system, in university system, we don't have a fixed calendar for the sports. The sports are always being mixed with the academic calendar so wherever the students get involved in the sports they have to go and visit all their places to get excused there or to because of their uh, concern in on their attendance and exams and all. 
if we can uh, synchronize system at least in the sports. Maybe it can be a week or two, it do not need to be a month even. If the, that particular period is declared for all the universities, it's meant for sports. By that, the, all the students will be definitely motivated and engaged in the sports very freely, very systematically as well. This is rather important to bring them to the international level. The very first step I would suggest that there should be a fixed calendar for the sports in the university system. For an undergraduate, what are the advantages of being an athlete? If you are doing more sports, you are getting to know more people. If you are doing it a little bit competitively, there are lots of things that the universities will be offering you. Basic thing will be university colors. You can go to the world universities, you can represent your country. You might be energetic, you might have like never giving up work ethic. It's the best thing to get away from lots of diseases, what I feel is the most important thing. What do you think we have to do in order to make our university sports better? Uh, well, I think uh, universities should uh, help uh, athletes uh, reach high levels by supporting uh, elite athletes. Uh, most elite athletes have a problem of uh, balancing uh, sh their schedule, their lectures with uh, intense amount, high, high amounts of training. Their priority should be balancing both. Most athletes should be given uh, the compensation to cut lectures and maybe have a way of uh, figuring out how to cover what they missed. IDAS 2020 was a special day for another set of undergraduates as well. The ones who capture all the beautiful memories of our university life. The Media Grid. Throughout the past years, the media units of each university have been doing a marvellous job in promoting university athletes and university sports, all the events, everything. Whatever shows are done, everything was promoted by the university's media units, without any gain actually. As the organising committee of IDUS, we thought of awarding a certificate, uh, recognising all the media units as the media volunteers for the IDUS 2020 Sri Lanka. Let's see what Mora Spirit has to say. Uh, the whole thing about like media not being recognized at the end of the day is very common but here we were recognized for our hard work and I think uh, we should uh, appreciate that, uh, that our effort was given due credit. And that ended another wonderful day at University of Kalania, Sri Lanka.